Today we're here to honour my great-grandfather, our second lieutenant, John George Cosson, DCM, and to pay tribute to the ultimate sacrifice that he made in the service of our nation. He wanted to serve our nation and uh, so he sailed overseas to Gallipoli first and then after service in uh, Gallipoli where he was one of the, the last men off the peninsula, he then um, went to the Western Front and uh, unfortunately he died at the Battle of Pozier. Um, we don't know where he is, uh, he's still in the grounds of Pozier on the Western Front so he's honoured on our Australian National Memorial uh, at Villa Spreshner and of course he's here on our honour roll and uh, we're very proud um, of what he did. He was 50 uh, when he died and he left behind his uh, widow Elizabeth and her five children. It was only when I actually came to the Department of Veterans Affairs and the lovely team in the Office of Australian War Graves started to do a bit of research for me when I knew that he he had died in the First World War and that's when we started to relive his story and just get to know him and we feel really quite connected um, and even tonight listening to his story there was other bits in there that we hadn't known so um, Dad was very excited to, to hear all the story about his life before the war. When they introduced the last post ceremony here I thought it was absolutely wonderful because I had the, the privilege to attend one at Menegate in Ip um, and just to bring people together and open to the public just to hear a story of somebody, an Australian who was prepared to, to fight for our country and who had made the ultimate sacrifice. It's just such a tribute and that we will never forget um, and that is the whole point that no generation will forget that service and sacrifice.